Hello everybody, this is Sonia. I'm back here again today because I want to do this still and I'm going to I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to finish this because you know, you, it's probably best if I do it's, it's easier, isn't it? It's more fun. So see here where I pulled off those bits from there because this is what I'm doing so I need you to see what I'm going to do because I was going to do this when I, I didn't have the camera on I put on now I'll show you how I'm going to do this or what I'm going to do with it is what I mean, right? Now, I've got lots of these bits. Look, I love them bits. So I'm going to do something with them bits. That's why I decided I'd get this back on here. Now, this is a good, nice piece of heavy stuff, so it's got a lot of little pieces on it. So that's going to be that. Well, not quite. So what we need to do now is to get a needle and thread, and I think I'll use the bead needle because that'll work okay. Because you have to to sew these things on before you glue it to the piece that you're working on okay I've got sticky all over me as usual right so I, I actually pulled off the black one and did not like how it looked so I'm going to use this one here the silver ones get off they're only tiny, aren't they? We yes. I don't know whether I should just use like the two pointy bits on the bottom and those ones on the top because you don't have to actually have it closing, do you? It's just for the it's just for the decoration. Okay, so I'm going to stitch these on here. I better turn this thing on. Okay, now I'll stitch these on. Come up through the back because if you don't, I don't think glue is a good idea. They'll probably come unstuck. I don't make a, a knot, not two thicknesses of thread. So I folded it over and put a knot in it. <laughs> Sorry, my finger's not happy. I'm good though. Don't be. It's all good. I just absolutely hate it when I hurt my hands. And when I was, Jeremy was in the shower, and I was going from the bathroom. To the to bed, and that's when all this took place. And he was in the, in the shower. And as I went to fall, I called out to him, <laughs> and then, of course, he was in the shower. I mean, what was he going to do? It, it, you know, but he couldn't. I said to him, "You didn't get to me fast enough." I was only joking though, because the poor thing <laughs> could he have done? And uh, he couldn't help him at all because it just, you know, things just happen. Like they're in slow motion but flat out, if you understand. And um, I went, I got in the bed later, I said, Well, you weren't much up. I said, I screamed out, <laughs> He didn't catch me or nothing. <laughs> it was a bit far away for that. <laughs> oh dear. It worries me so much because I don't want to fall and, and, and hurt myself bad, hurt myself, you know, you know. I had to take that off because I don't know what. What was going on but I wasn't putting it on there very good. Try this again. Oh that side up. Uh, right. I do like that side. I might try that side up. Can't really oh no. It'll do what I've got whichever way I threaded it that needle through there it'll be fine. And I'm sorry I'm having a bit of issues here with my hands but I'm okay. It's not going to hold me back, I promise. It should probably take a tiny bit longer than usual. I hope, I hope not. Right, it's that tight, so it's nice and snug on there. Well, it isn't. Why well, haven't I got that nice and snug on there? Where's this? Okay, I've got to be honest with you, I can't see this very good. What's going on with that, I wonder? Mm -hmm. I mean, blood sugar, I suppose, could be giving me jip, I guess. Or, this is just really small. Ah, that's not good. I'll come through the middle of it. <laughs> come through the, the centre of it. When you do something like this, you know, it, it makes you think, should you be trying that? But see, I've got a... A bead needle and it's very fine so it's going to go through things I 
Okay. Two fifty mil episodes to make a tag? I don't think so. I'm not going to be taking that long. I'm going to I'll get a wriggle on here. I can't fast forward it because I don't really want to. I'll put this one on this end. No, that's gone through the centre too. There's a hole up through the middle of there. <clears throat> yeah, we do these tiny little things, but I do enjoy, you know, different interesting things. And I do like to make my own things, like I say. You know, if I am faffing about or whatever, well, I could go and buy a sticker, but I don't want to do that. I'd rather put my own things to it. I've always been like that. I've got to do my own stuff. Make it yourself. I suppose I learned that when I was younger. Best if you get it, make it yourself, it'll be exactly what you want. Well, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> Do I need two on the bottom? Yeah. What do you reckon? Come here, you. No, I don't. That's too much, isn't it? Well, there you go. See, you never know these things, do you? Now, I've got this here, and I want to make... I'm going to stick this down... <coughs> while I'm up to this bit. So I'll go along here. Make sure that you put the thing in past where the frayed edge is. You don't want it to be... Now it might take a tiny minute to dry because I've got a bit of, it's a bit of glue on here. I said, okay, so it does not want to be in the middle. Alright. Now I've got to make a journal for in there, and I shall do that. Make a little journal and put in that. And now I've got this, which I really want to use. So I'll get a piece of paper. Now if I start out with a bigger piece, I'm sure it's going to be a lot easier, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> I might do that, hey. Might do it with a bigger piece and it'll be a lot easier to do this I hope <laughs> I do hope so that in there now is it going to be too wide the paper maybe not no, you've got to have something you can see oh, straight on that side is that my... oh, I can't tear that again I'm going to have to do it with This bit goes along here like that because well, you're not going to see that much. I don't think you're gonna, well, you only see a tiny bit because it's going to be rolled up, isn't it? If I can do it, I sure do hope so. A bit of glue down on there. Where's me? I'll use this for a glue page. Maybe I've got too much for that. I don't think I need that much, do I? I'll have to cut that in half now. I'll do something with that. I'm use this piece. Ah. <laughs> I'll make two anyway if I can get the thing to stop sticking to me. Find some more thread and do another one. And I probably should have rolled it first, the paper, so it automatically roll itself up like you know be easier to do come on now I've got glue on these scissors haven't I from when I stopped it from coming off me and you see what I'm trying to do okay very good hope so can 
have to clean everything. It's got it's got glue stuck to it. trying to concentrate here and pull this as tight as I can because I don't want it too big too yeah how's that look pretty cool eh I'm gonna cut that bit off there so I can still see the writing well it will be cool when I've finished making it so it's one of those <laughs> it's a bit of a bit of rolled up that looks like it probably could be a little bit of wheat if it's a different color but not it's an embellishment for me page. It's an embellishment to put on me paper, me tag, me tuck, belly band. It's a belly band, Sonia, and you'll get it right in a minute. And now I need something else made out of the same stuff because I want three, three elements the same. Now, where's the rest of that fabric up there? All right, I want that to spread out a bit. I want it to be all tucked up there. Move it. Get off me. Oh, no, let's fix this first. I hope this glue stick will do what I'm wanting it to do. But I want it to stay stuck on there like that. Don't ask me what it is or what it's for because it's just a thing. Okay, it's just a thing. Maybe later I might put a bit of glue behind this area I don't know maybe a bit more fluffier that would have looked a bit better too if it's a little bit more fluffier something a bit fluffier okay so we can put this thing down here whatever it's going to be I've got that bit of stuff too haven't I I'll have this down here with something on it I wonder what sort of something that would be. You could gather it along the bottom, gather it up like this along the bottom of it for an idea. Okay, I'm going to put some of this glue down on here now for that. I'm hoping this will fit in a book. If it won't, it can just be used as a tag, I suppose. Uh, where's me thingy? Where's me thingy? Now, this is a... Probably told you about this before, did I? I don't know. It's a makeup mask doing making thing that you can put in glue and it won't stick, stay stuck to the glue. That's cool. I like that. Um, something very fine and just not too over the top across the bottom of there in that middle of that piece will this fit in there? I don't know yet, we have to try it yeah, so this is a this is a thing uh, it's cool oh, no that's the name but I might have used it before I've seen Rachel use one somebody else said they used them because if you want to put glue on something now instead of me using for fabric on this I'm going to put paper across here for its decoration okay I probably should put a bit more brown on that eh. <laughs> I won't because it'll muck it up if I try to do that I should use this in okay look and this, when you're finished using it, the glue just peels off. Brilliant, isn't it? Better than using a whole heap of brushes, what I would have been my thing. I was about using paint brushes and wrecking them. And it cost me about seven dollars. I imagine you can get it overseas somewhere for a lot cheaper than that. But I bought a big W. 
How does this look? Now this is not too bad. This is a little bit of stuff, eh? Where's a piece of paper? I need a piece of paper now for making a, a booklet. Really fast, Miss Sonia. No, no, no mucking about with that. So this is going to be the cover. It's quite, quite easy now. They have the cover already, isn't it? So I'm going to fit in that hole. I'll make sure it fits through there, though. Where are we? Actually, the back bit looks a uh, Michigan written on there. People with cars get annoying, especially when you haven't got. <laughs> I don't care that I don't have one. I want one really because they cost too much money for the upkeep. <laughs> All the beeping and the revving and that starts to get on a nerve like after a while, doesn't it? it? Starts to get your nerves. This is just I don't need this to go all the way down in there because I want it to be sitting up out of it a bit, so and our neighbour goes away all the time, especially at night time. She's going in now there all night. It's really annoying because our bedroom's fair near their driveway. I'm going to have to cut this because it's, I'm not saying I'm going to be able to get it straight, but I just want to... Uh. Right. Piece of paper. Probably look better if it was... But it doesn't matter. If it was a bit daggy looking, or you know, wrinkly, might or not. Yep, that'll work. Put that in half. You think I'd do more than one of these at a the time so it would be easier for me, wouldn't you? On a different colour, though. I do need a different colour. Only putting a bit on this, as you can see. Not even the bits coming out now. Oh, I missed it. My hand. No, what had it up here? Oh, there is. I had another day using it. With, oh, this is tea dyed on the vintage photo one. Um, now, if I put too much on, I'll get it all over the place. I hope not, though. Hope not to get it all over the place. Actually, I think that's a bit darker than what I've got on there, isn't it? Oh, this is a new one, that's why. Right. And yeah, got this bit here. Oh, that's khaki. <laughs> but there's more after. The khaki look. Old. Vintage sort of stylish looks on you. When you say khaki, that's not quite a good word, is it? To use. Doesn't matter if it comes over the top. No, it does not. Fold that over. Center. Sort of. Yeah. Grab a needle and cotton. Must have one here somewhere threaded, am I? Please let me have a threaded piece of... <laughs> and I don't. 
Oh, all right, you'll have to thread it, Sonia. Oh, you've got this bit. This has got actually, this has got a bead needle in it. I wonder how this will go. Through there. Bead needle goes really good through there. Look at that. Then I'm going to go up here. Oops. Oh, I broke it. <laughs> I'm always telling you not to do that, aren't I? <laughs> oh, wow. I'll fold it up in a piece of paper and put it in the garbage bin. Right, don't use your boot. <laughs> Here, dear. Have that, uh, get that right down in that bag. Right. Let's try that again now. This time, don't be, don't be so lazy and thread a needle, Sonia. Thread a needle. Okay, it's got green. Oh, I love that. I love the fact that I've got a green piece now. I do. Got ink all over myself. It's all right. This is what you do when you craft, don't you? Get in a mess. <laughs> and you lose your little string thing for your here. Look, I can find it real easy now. This pin, well, better than what I could once. Couldn't find it again ever. Where's another needle now? Don't use a bead once on you. Hit something with a bit of power behind it. Where's... I don't know. What am I doing with them ever? I take them out of there. I know what... I remember this morning, that's right, when I was uh, packing up, I had... One went under the thingy. I don't know. Just have to remember what you did with it, that's all, ain't ya? Oops, sorry about that. I don't know where I'm putting this camera, I don't need to, we don't need to see me, we seem to see what I'm doing. I've seen these ladies come on here and make these things and, and, and do them in about 15 or something, <laughs> one video. <laughs> and here's me, working away here, tirelessly, <laughs> getting nothing done. Oh dear, I am getting it done, I am getting it done, aren't I, look. So there's that, let's see, see, that bit. Then I go through here, that bit. I'm coming back through the middle, like so, and you haven't pulled all that through. It's not all working as it is now. No. I, don't, I want to keep both of them like, strings together. So I'll have something, when I get there, that I can tie up. It's not going to take me forever to get fixed and go under there eh. got it I think I got it A little booklet. I should do it on the outside. It's... it's in. Let's stick that down a bit better than that. I don't mind that. It looks really cool. I think I like it. I do. I'm really reckoning I should put some green stuff on here, though. You know, some something green on here. And that's way too big, that button, but I'm sure I've got one somewhere. So yesterday, when I was out shopping, I bought myself these. The reason being is because they, they are actually button stickers, but you can actually use them as buttons, and you've seen me do that. I've got white ones and pink ones, now I've got orange ones and purple ones, because it costs a fortune for buttons, but these come off here real easy, and it's not even sticky anymore, look. And it's a button, well, it's a button, it's, you know, and it's really good for doing craft with, isn't it? I don't know if I want this colour, I'd really like the green on there. 
but that looks good, doesn't it? Too. You just don't know what to what to work with, do you? So let's see if I can find a, a wipe to clean myself here. Uh -oh. I need that. I don't think that's quite the thing for there. I need something for there. But see, these are. I'm going to pull all those off there, um, and I'm going to put them in a jars. So that's my plan for those. Um, what have I got here that's green that I can use on that? There's not. Now that's the neighbour mowing now. <laughs> Jeremy's not home. <laughs> He's gone out, so that's just the neighbour doing that. I like this one. This is a nice one. Uh, don't mind that. That's quite nice, that button. That's some little, little ones. I think I might might just put that there and that'll be enough. What do you reckon? I think I'll just put that there on there and that'll be enough. Actually, I will have to put the flat side down it, otherwise, because I can't sew it on there, can I? No, I'll have to glue it on. Okay, so put this through that way, that way, that way, put through further, okay. Brilliant, Sonia went and did all that good work. Come back through here. If somebody came to my house and started mowing the lawn and cleaning the place, I'd be really... Because <laughs> he does, he goes over there and he cuts back the trees and he he does all these things that people live in their house. <laughs> it's not his house, it's their house. And he just comes to visit his... She's um, actually the, his wife's stepmother lady next door and she lives there with her son and this fella comes over there and he does all this stuff you know he, he, he mows their lawns and cuts back the trees and does all this sort of thing and yesterday she had a little pup passed away and that was really sad and that was not good it's um yeah but it's really weird that this man just comes there and does all them things you must think they're not capable of looking after their own place or something. I'll have that. I'll have that. I hope that stuff, this here, stays stuck to it. I really do. I hope that stays stuck. And we'll be in the trouble, won't we? It might do, and if it doesn't, I'm just going to have to put a piece of... Um, really strong double-sided sticky tape. I paid $14 for it, but I it works. <laughs> It's for uh, what do you what do you say? Heavy, really heavy duty one. It is for not really for crafting because it costs a lot of money. But that doesn't matter. I mean, I could use it if I wanted to, but because I've got pl plenty left, and I bought the other day. I think that's enough, don't you? I think that, that I've got just about enough on there. That might look all right in my steampunk one. I don't know yet. You never know, do you? Might not fit in there. Okay, so now I'm going to make something else, okay? I'm going to do some... I want to do some corners. Just decorate some corners up. I'm just doing a few decorations, aren't we, today? I'm going to show you the books that I got. And yeah, yesterday. Day four. Whenever. I don't think I got it yesterday because I didn't go shopping at all. Just, well, that's not true. I bought some coffee and some mandarins. So that's not too bad, hey? It's really good in the book. Where's me... I don't know if I'm going to put it in here though. Um, it's probably too big. Oh, look at that. Fits just perfect, doesn't it? It's not probably the right sort of thing for here. But, you know, that'll look really nice on a page, won't it? It's a lot different. And it's got a little, little thing there to write on. And it puts stuff underneath it. So that's that was a bit of fun today. Or oh, over two days. Now, I need these books over here. <laughs> Oh. I 
we get something else really nice too. I went to Vinny's the other day and I seen these here and I thought I'll have a look in that and see what it looks like. This is a miniature game, a small game of Monopoly, right? It's brand new. It cost me, I think it was two dollars. I'm sure it was two dollars, I don't know. But look what's inside. Uh, <laughs> look at these little tiny money. <laughs> Won't that be good in the. Won't that be good? <laughs> It's got little tiny houses too, and little tiny... I'm not going to play this, and I don't think any kids are interested too much in it anymore. So I don't mind using these in my journals or whatever. Look at that. These little... Um, the chance things and the um, other ones are on here. Community chest and chance are written down on there, and you just read out whatever number the person's throws or something I don't know how that bit works but I've got all them little dollars and I've got these things here and there was these well I can give the look at them aren't they cute they're a bit small don't need to give them to anybody keep them for myself well there's a there's a cat and there's a car so that'll go on a journal <laughs> of course <it> will. <laughs> even me houses might one day you never know now I took it out and put it all over the place, but it's okay. It's it's really cool, isn't it? Um, I don't know if I can put this thing closed now because it's got that that bit in it. It sits over there. I had it tucked into me ages to pack it in. Now I've marked it all up again. Okay. I don't think I'm going to use these today, so I won't worry about finding them. Just put that on yet back together would have been a cute thing for somebody that actually wanted to have it wanted to play it I guess it's not gonna fit but go in there please get in there when they make them things they make them so they just go together <laughs> I don't want to have any leftover bits the box I might use it too later but that was that one so I really liked that for two dollars was a good price then I bought this book full of little quilts because I really, really do love to do a bit of sewing, as you know, and I'm, I'm looking at doing something small to start with, and then maybe I can put it together. So this is nearly new. It's got £17. Pound. <coughs> and it's got a lot of... Um, the cathedral window is really nice. I might do a tutorial on that one time. I, I, really, um, I really enjoyed making that years ago, so I learned to do that a long time back. But I'm sort, of, I'm sort of thinking, well, this is really cool if I want to do any small small pieces, and which I do because I've never been really into doing a really big one. But i seen um, a lady put up a whole heap the other day that her mother had partly made. That was on Kate's... Um, okay, oh, that's not good. Oh. <laughs> a piece of plastic sitting on the heater, shriveling up there. That wasn't good. Oh, you can say that it works though. This one here is about knitting. Look at this. It's a brand new book. Absolutely beautiful book. And 50 cents each these cost me. Or a dollar for three. I don't know if a Sally Mill and the publishers here in Australia did this. The same place that I got my thing published at. Okay, so there's, you know, trims. I love to do knitting. I'm just not big on making a cardigan or anything, you know. Like, I haven't done things like clo clothing items for a really long time. I remember the last thing I did, I think I, I made the front of the chook jumper for my husband. When I say chook, it's got an ostrilorp on the front of it, and he's only got the front. I was thinking about trying a sock. I was thinking about trying a sock because I do love to, I do love knitting, but I'm not, I don't do a lot um, now. I just do, I can, I love to crochet too, but. I don't know, the, the knitting's more, this is, this is, it's a bit easier, that sock. Okay, so it's got some really nice things in this. I really like this book. I'm very partial to that. I, I don't have a lot of knitting books as such because I've always got crochet ones. I've got a few um, 
this is a knitopedia, like an encyclopedia of knitting, I imagine. I've got um, a lot of crochet ones, and I've got, in so I've got A to Z on knitting, and that. And never guess what? I got another one of these. <laughs> There's another one of these. Twenty nine dollars. Um, this, and I've seen them in the on the internet for forty something dollars, and I don't know if they're actually selling them, but so I've got another one. So I'm going to actually give this to. Oh, well, I'm not going to. I can't actually. I will gift it to you if you pay the postage. And the first person that says to me that they want it, I know it's going to cost twenty two or twenty three dollars to send to England. It'll probably cost that for America too, or around about that. So it's probably not a good thing. But for Australia, I hopefully it'll hopefully get go in the post for thirteen, twelve to thirteen dollars. Twelve dollars. I'm looking. I don't know why I said thirteen, but. It is, it is a bit heavy, so I better go and find out first. But if you find, so it was $29, but postage is what I'll have to get you to pay for if that's all right. Um, so if you can, uh, want it, if you want it, the first person that says on my feed, like on the YouTube, the first one that says I, I'll have that for the postage can have it, okay? I'll just you send me the postage through my PayPal or whatever and I can sort that out with you anyway. I'll message you whoever goes, gets it up there first because I think they're really nice and I know everybody liked them and um, so I'm really looking forward to getting that out to somebody because it's a good thing to have. I don't know what's on here. I'll get that off. There's no, nothing written in or anything and this pages are good. It's got this spiral bound thing on it but it'll go into one of those envelopes. I'm sure it'll fit into that envelope that I can send for well look if I can't get it in the t the $10 thing I'll get it in the one that's 14 that's still a bit of money I know but like it's a it's a thing you buy a parcel thing that you can send anything up to 3 kgs so people in Australia will understand what that is so if you want this for that much well you know I know I only paid 50 cents but I'm not getting anything for it you I just want the postage for it thank you okay so if you want to do that, that's good. And I got this here, and I wish I had more of these pictures. But this lady looks very miserable, doesn't she? I don't know what to do with her. These ones aren't too bad. That poor thing, she looks terribly miserable. But there's, a, and this is a, a pattern, a big pattern sheet. Um, well, I might use that for doing uh, wrapping something, maybe. But I'll cut these ladies out and use them in some sort of pattern thing, okay? Right, so now let's see what we're going to do next. We're going to do um, some corners, and I have got the bits that I wanted to use. I, I did have the bits that I wanted to use to do my corners, as I cut them out this morning. And I put them in here. I don't know what I would have done, but you never know with me, do you? So we'll have to have a look. Here they are. They are in here. They're just the corners with the envelopes, and I just want to decorate some of those up because I... <sighs> Bit. They're only little, aren't they? They're only tiny, tiny, but I like them. I do like the way these work because you just cut the top off your envelope and you've got your corner. See? So I'm just going to decorate those up with what I don't know yet. I love these stamps. I do love the stamp. And that little lady there, and this nice bird, they're all too big for this sort of thing, though, aren't they? Wait a minute. Maybe the shoe. That's just a sticker, isn't it? Maybe I can just do what I did with this uh, to make them look a bit like that. Do you reckon? Completely cover it then. If you want to do that, completely cover it, Sonia, with these here. Okay, come off. I'm just looking around here to see what I did with those things of embellishments. <laughs> Remember the embellishment pockets I made so I could find them? I wonder where I sat them. I'm sure they're here somewhere near me. Oh, I'm not worried about getting that open. I'm just going to stick this down. Bit of turn on something. Bit of turn on the time. Oh, it's on the. It's on. I've been on here for ages, haven't I? Yes. What was I doing? Fiddling around with that other thing. I don't know. It's all good. Ah <laughs> oh dear. I don't think I've got 
thing where I forget and stuff. <laughs> I don't think I have. I just, I don't know, so many things on my mind, you know, and I'm trying to figure out what to do next all the time. And it's just, I really like to go and watch a movie on that in an afternoon. I get myself real right into it so I can <laughs> not think about other things. <laughs> Keep my mind occupied. Because sometimes we can overdo, can't we? You know, I had high blood pressure last week and I wasn't all happy because I I had to go and have all them tests done and go to the gynecologist and he sent me for more and then I went to the chemist because I wasn't letting him take my blood pressure because I they'd assumed me out to the hospital. But I, I um and I knew that I wasn't right because I had palpitations and things like that, see, so I knew that I didn't feel right, so I go to the chemist and the girl told me that, you know, it was a bit high, the bottom bottom one, and she said that I need to stop stressing out. And I could, I could tell that I was because my body was just so tense. Anyway, um, after I went there and seen her, and she told me I was a bit high, I've been okay since then. <laughs> That's really weird, isn't it? But I've been okay. I felt all right. I've, I've, um, I, I guess going and doing them things stress us out to... To start with, don't they? You know, if we got to go and do stuff like that, you get a bit stressed out. So when you get stressed out, well, she told me to like, make an appointment with the doctor, but I've been okay since then. I haven't had any any palpitations, and I've been all right. So that when would I go there last week? I felt a lot better because you know when you think things are wrong and you worry. It's not good, is it? I'll put green on this one. And that'll cover the inside of this ear as well, won't it? I'm on medication for it, so I'd say that it's working for me now. I don't know. I just, and like I, you know, I wanted to give up my channel too. I was thinking about that and... Then when you told me not to go, <laughs> I felt a lot better. I did feel a lot better because I was thinking about not doing it. But that was only because everything else was going crap in my life, you know, like as far as that all this business goes. But I've been um, feeling a lot better, so that's good. I should have, I'll go back tomorrow and have it t tested again, I suppose, and see if it's any good. Tomorrow. Hopefully you'll be fine. You go to the, if you go to the doctor, they dob you out the hospital, and then they want to keep you up there. And you don't want nobody wants to go out the hospital. If you needed to go out there and you weren't well, it's okay. You know, I've been out there and I've been really sick and I wasn't wasn't bad. But it's, I don't know. I'm a bit funny. I don't like to. I don't think a lot of people like hospitals because it scares them. They scare me. I know they scare me. I'll put this other on the back of the ear. Make them both the same, it'll be okay, won't it? It'll look good. Little, little cornies. We need a sort of different embellishments, don't we, though? Corner thing. Go up along there. I'll have to cut that off now. That's alright. Here. So the chemist said to me, she said, we know our bodies and we know how they feel. And she said to me, if I, you know, you can tell if there's something really bad wrong. Well, mostly you can. <laughs> you know, like if, if your blood pressure's high or you've got some sort of issues. And, I, and, and you sort of can, can't you? You know, you know how you feel. You know when something's not right. Where's, um, well, I think I do. <laughs> I think I do. So all I did to get this was to cut, if anybody hasn't seen what I'm doing here before, all I did was cut the corners off the off the envelope, okay? I just made sure that it was glued down properly 
and cut the corners off it. And I don't know what I did with it then because I think it was one that I wasn't going to use because I'd already used it for something, part of it for something else. And then all you do with these when you get them made is use them over the top of your book like this and they go all the way on without having any over the side here which is really cool see so this is what I'm doing I'm decorating those to put them on there and put something on them I might even put a word on these today hang on what have I got in here oh, something I can't sew anything today that's not good is it I don't think I can anyway I'm not gonna be stressing myself out with that my hand doesn't feel as bad as what it did this morning. <sighs> Although I'm, I'm, I do be on pain medication, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it's not as bad. I will have another mouthful of water. I don't want to drink too much water. It does, does tend to happen, doesn't it? Sometimes when I do drink too much. Head back there, get some. I'm thinking about a stamp, but I might want to. Maybe I could put a butterfly on if there was a little enough one. Uh, no, they're not little. I've got these. And these stamps here that I'm thinking about, I would like to put one of those. That is actually a neon cuckoo bee. Really pretty, isn't it? Really pretty bee. Uh, maybe I can get him on there a bit. Have him some part of the, the decoration. Oh, I cut it. But that's okay. I might be wrapping that bit around the corner, am I? Like so. Oh, that. <laughs> this way? Can you still see? Oh, I know his wing. I want to see his wing, don't we? You're not losing all your bee that way. I might have to put the whole thing on the on there, Sonia, and you know, stop fiddling. <laughs> the people next door on the other side have got two cars in the backyard. They've got um, two that she drives. Time to time, different ones. She goes in there, there all day. Uh, that's her business, I suppose. But when they, it seems like when the cars are no good anymore, she puts it in the backyard. The dog, who I was really worried about, and still am, the poor thing, she comes out to the front here and she just throws a Emptied the can of dog food over the fence at him. Didn't even didn't even give him the bowl to have it out of or anything. Very not nice, I'm telling you. I didn't like that at all. You can't say anything to people though. You get into trouble if you, you don't mind your own business, don't you? The poor dog. I feel sorry for him. Jeremy said his name was Bear, something like that. I never see him out there with him. The yard is covered with rubbish because the poor thing, well, she doesn't put the bin out and the dog gets into it and drags it all over the place. She won't want to come out there and go crook on him because he doesn't know any better, does he? Gee, that looks pretty classy, doesn't it? <laughs> well, whether it's classy or not, I don't know. I wonder if I can get this under here like I just did that other bit because I'm going to put it around here as well because I think it looks pretty cool. Coming out from underneath there. That's just my opinion. I'm going with that. The 
There's a piece of paper in there between that, isn't there? Look at it sitting in there because it wasn't coming. Didn't come off the envelope properly. Oh, somebody sent me to. If they did, thank you very much. It's really nice, nice bees. I love them. I do. Very sad when animals aren't treated right. Really sad because that dog would be very what's the name to them. You know, you really care about them, and they. I don't know. Never mind. <laughs> so. Oh, look at that. That nearly is the right shape, but it's not quite, so I don't want to put it on there and wreck that. I like this. I do like that, how that's looking. That's going to go really good as a... Um, and see, it doesn't... It won't come apart here, which is really good. I just put something on the other side of it. I might have to put some glue under here. Yeah, because it's not stuck down properly. Because there's two pieces, look. Should have soaked it first and got the back part off, shouldn't I, people? Yes, I know. When I find something to do, though, I can't help myself. I've got to get to it. I can't fiddle around and do other things. I'm not not very good at that. Doing other stuff. <laughs> like, like soaking that thing off. A lot of people are very precise and, I, and I'm not. And that's just the way I am, I suppose. I can't help myself. And it's time for me to go again. But I've showed you how to do this, so we've got something achieved, hopefully. So thank you everybody for watching, and my voice is starting to disappear now. <laughs> it's okay, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.